Welcome to the Shortwave Radio channel. And uh, a lot of uh, people always ask me what software I use for decoding digital modes and the different software that I could use depending on what uh, I do on the computer. So I will share here four software, four pieces of software that I find really nice. Of course, everybody has its own uh, programs that they use on PCs and phones and so on. This is for uh, a, a computer. Some are multiple platform, Mac and others. I'll tell you which ones. Some are specific to Windows. But here are four pieces of software that I use for digital decoding that I find are must have on your PC. First one that I love is MMSS TV. This is an old piece of software that hasn't been updated in a while, but it works great even on Windows 10. And it is for decoding slow scan television pictures. It is an automatic process. And that's what I like with this software. It's nice, simple, and detects the mode automatically. MMSS TV is what I use for slow scan television. WSJTX software, which is the software for Whisper, for FT8, for JT65, and, and it's always being improved with new modes. This is for decoding those weird sounds that you hear at the bottom part of the um, handbands that a lot of people find creepy. Uh, this is a... You know, it reports basically just the simple modes uh, with the call signs and so on. It's a very popular, uh, FT8 and so on are very popular modes right now. So this is the software that you use. And this is, of course, a software that I will uh, share once again. Make sure your clock is very accurate. It's important for this to actually work. But uh, for the rest, this is, of course, a program that is updated all the time. It's available for Windows, Linux and uh, Mac, so you can actually download this and uh, install it for uh, decoding of T8 and so on. We have FLDG, one of my favorite multi-mode decoders. Um, it is a great piece of software. This is, a, once again, a must-have. This is updated regularly, and it has new modes from time to time, so that's why updating it is a, a good idea. It is a multi-mode decoder, so it decodes everything, you know, radio teletype, uh, Morse code, uh, MFSK, um, Olivia, and, and um, slow, uh, the uh, weather facts pictures, and a lot more. It is a very, very nice software to have. It is also very nice for another reason, is that it's multi-platform. Once again, you have it for Windows, you have it for Mac, you have it for Linux. So whatever platform you use, this software is available, and it's a great piece of software. One of my favorites, honestly. And finally, clunky interface, tough to go through, but MultiPSK is the software that you need for multi-platform, uh, for multi-different multi um, uh, modes on, on shortwave. This one kind of decodes a lot of this stuff that FLDG also decodes, but it has more modes and it has professional modes also that are limited if you don't buy the license, but still can run. It is another must have. Uh, the only drawback that I hate on this is the interface is very tough and kind of difficult to go through. Uh, it's a question of, you know, using it all the time. Some people that use it all the time get, uh, get by with the clunky interface a little bit. But it's a must-have uh, software also on your PC. This one is, I believe, Windows only. So um, the links to all four are in the description below the video. So just check it out and download it and install it. And uh, you will have four pieces of software that are pretty much going to uh, cover more than 90% of your digital decoding needs on uh, shortwave. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.